that right there, everyone. Those updates to Colony Survival. <laughs> this is why I totally need to get a new PC so that I can record stuff like this. Because this is so freaking awesome. Oh, by the way, I'm the lightning cat! <laughs> Check this out. The crouch button. So you can crouch down when when you're on top of uh, ledges. Yeah, I had that problem a lot. Thanks, guys. That's freaking awesome. Draw distance setting, low, medium, high, very high. Previous default was medium. Video settings, presets. Okay, cool. Performance improvements for larger colonies. NPC rendering vastly improved, possibly quadrupling frame rates. Ooh. Optimizations. Improve the speed and reliability of loading chunks. Vastly reduced network bandwidth required for it. I'm curious as to why it needs a network bandwidth at all. Maybe it's sending information from their primary server and it's just updating like your save file. Ah, uh, screw speculating. I can do that later. I am most excited about the crouch button. And then the secondary, the, the diggers and builders. Place a certain type in an area, remove all blocks in an area, or special diggers that remove only a certain type in an area. That is going to be fun to mess around with. More precise collision boxes to most complex objects. Beds, crops, torches, job outlines. Job outlines have a collision box? <laughs> I'm sorry, did they need a collision box? Farmer areas can now be made over existing crops. All right, a little nice improvement there. Added a modifier key to hold while recruiting colonists to recruit 15 per click. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't need to hire that many. Remove the special block removal warning pop-up when destroying a warning block. Warning blocks destroy like any normal block now. Hidden blocks will reappear while destroying them. What? I don't get that. I really don't get that at all. Taught farmers to abandon their farm if one of their ground blocks is removed or changed to something non-fertile. Hmm. Okay. Added two new achievements. That's nice. Eye adaptation setting. If hardware drivers don't support it, it requires shader model 5. Com compute shaders. Okay. That's an optimization tweak right there. I can't wait to see how much better it's going to run. Okay, I don't need to scroll through all of that, but that big thing, that crouch item, that, that's the big thing right there. Ooh. <clears throat> what? Oh wait.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a, a lot of updates to look through. Um, yeah, I don't want to quick start. I want to look at... I was in the wrong I was in the wrong menu. Okay, let me take a look at settings. Video. Hey, yeah, why not? This is gonna be nice. Uh let's see, medium. Yeah, I'm gonna go with low. Sun shader, low, shadow distance, medium, draw distance. <clears throat> That's gonna be low. Field of view. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, either 100 or 90. Yeah, I'll just go with 90. Resolution. Okay. Preset. Depth of field. Nope. Eye adaptation. No. Light scattering. Uh, I'll work with that. Ambient occlusion. I don't know what that is. I need a little thingy to pop up off the side and explain what that really is. Ragdoll quantity. Okay, yeah, I'm going to apply that. I would love to go off and do, like, more recording and play the freaking game, actually. Well, I don't have the hardware and software for that. <clears throat> so all I can do is point this at the screen and say, Look, this is freaking awesome! Actually, it is. It is freaking awesome. I like it. I like the, uh... <laughs> I like the update. I'm gonna enjoy playing it. Until next time, everyone, don't forget to uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications and go and support my channel on Patreon. Till next time, everyone. Bye.